Dr. Phil Loader, played by Dinklage, an assistant professor at a Massachusetts college, drones on about cultural and economic trends to his disinterested class. Phil and every student except one eagerly await the end of his lecture. The lovely Claire, played by Michelle Milet, hangs on to his every word, nursing a secret crush on the monotonous teacher. However, Phil's interests are not romantic. He spends lonely nights browsing luxury homes online from his cramped apartment, yearning for a taste of the good life. After work, Phil rushes to view a stunning property listing. He indulges in free wine and hors d'oeuvres before scoffing at the exorbitant price in front of potential buyers. Dell, played by Matt Dillon, the property's real estate agent, is exasperated with Phil's unrealistic expectations. How can a man earning less than $50,000 a year afford a $10 million mansion? Phil is living in a fantasy world. He's a dreamer, not a doer. Dell advises him to adjust his expectations and consider a modest one-bedroom condo. A lucky discovery in his office's condiments drawer presents a golden opportunity. A luxurious seaside home is available for millions, but the elderly owner agrees to sell it for $240,000 with one condition. She remains in the house until her passing, and the new buyer covers all expenses. After touring the property with Dell, Phil is amazed. Astrid, the frail wheelchair-bound owner, seems likely to pass away soon. Phil decides to cash out his 401k, sell all his possessions, and make the purchase. Finally, life seems to be giving him a break. What could possibly go wrong? The film portrays Phil as at the bottom of the social ladder through visual cues. He has the worst parking spot, eats cheap sandwiches from vending machines for lunch, and drives an 80 Saab with high mileage. Despite being an economics professor who should know how to accumulate wealth, Phil is nearly destitute. Dell's criticisms of Phil are also valid. He lacks ambition and would rather complain about the system than seek better opportunities. Phil's teaching salary should theoretically enable him to own a mansion, but the wealth gap created by the 1% hinders his dreams. American Dreamer transitions into slapstick comedy territory as Dinkleg displays his physical comedic talents in the second act. The twist occurs when it's revealed that Astrid is a spry octogenarian in excellent health. Their cherished home becomes the backdrop for comedic mishaps once Phil realizes he's been deceived. Dinklage's transformation into a comedic punching bag generates hearty laughs as he endures mishaps reminiscent of the wet bandits in Home Alone. While this may seem overly silly, it underscores the message that if something appears too good to be true, it probably is. The fine print becomes crucial as Phil faces the consequences of his impulsive decision. American Dreamer's salacious subplots fail to make an impact. Phil's romantic entanglements with both the alluring grad student Claire and Astrid's lawyer daughter Maggie fall flat after initial amusement. Producer Paul Dechter takes a raunchy approach in his feature debut, detracting from Phil's well-crafted loser persona. The humor supposedly stems from these interactions, but Phil's transformation into an unlikely ladies' man lacks credibility. The tired trope of attractive women inexplicably falling for an allegedly unattractive man feels out of place and overdone. Phil envisions himself with two attractive wives feeding his delusions of grandeur, this aspect fits well within the narrative context, showcasing the protagonist's absurd fantasies and mental health struggles that align with the overarching theme of pursuing realistic goals. Despite his unrealistic aspirations for vast square footage, Phil refuses to embrace a minimalist lifestyle. Is it madness to believe that an average American can achieve homeownership? Dinklage, McLean, and Glover deliver outstanding performances. The film contains humorous moments. Dinklage showcases impressive physical comedy skills. Some tropes are overused and occasionally cross into offensive territory. The film is uneven at times, lacking consistent entertainment value. Danny Glover deserves recognition for his role as the bewildered straight man in American Dreamer. His portrayal of a frustrated private investigator witnessing Phil and Astrid's absurd antics is comically priceless, almost stealing the spotlight with his reactions. American Dreamer is a collaboration between Flying Firebird, Golden Light Films, Estuary Films, and Noble 600. It is currently accessible in theaters digitally and on demand via Vertical.